everyone i hope you're staying nice and safe and healthy at home and you had a lovely easter with your families um if you are getting a little bit bored that's okay because i'm going to show you in this video a few different things that i've been doing and i know other people are doing and i think it'd be a really fun idea if you all got involved and did some um things like baking and drawing and coloring things like that that you can do to keep yourself entertained and stop yourself getting a bit bored and a bit miserable when you're in the house for such a long time the first thing i think is really fun and relaxing to do when you're bored is to do something creative so I've been doing some colouring, as you can see in this video, but you could do anything that you have in your house, whether it's colouring, drawing, painting, or anything you enjoy that is a bit of time away from looking at TVs and computer screens and phone screens. Um, and you could spend hours. I've chosen to sit in the garden to do mine and get a bit of fresh air, but you can obviously do your colouring or your creativity wherever you fancy um, and just have a bit of fun, have a bit of downtime, and it's really good to pass some time if you're bored. The next thing I've been doing a lot of is reading. This is the second book I'm on to since we've had to stay at home. Um, you can read whatever you want, whether it's magazines or newspapers or storybooks. But like the colouring, it's a really nice relaxing activity if you enjoy it and you can do it any way you want. So I'm sat on a nice comfy bed with my cat, but you could read outside in the garden if you wanted some more air. Or you could sit in your living room if you still want to be around your family. It's just a really nice, fun, relaxing activity to do. I've been doing lots of baking and cooking in my time, number one because it's really fun and number two because you get lots of yummy cakes to eat afterwards. So I'm using a packet mix in this video to make cookies but you can do it from scratch and that will take more time. Some things you can make are some brownies, some cupcakes, but if you don't know how to make a cake then you can always watch Miss Air's video on making a cake and then you will know and you can join in with the baking. One thing I have been making sure I do every day is exercising. Um, in this video I filmed some clips of the walk that I went on today um, obviously be aware we're only allowed to go out for one walk a day at the moment um, but I have been and I know lots of other people have been taking full advantage of that and going for a big long one hour walk through the countryside to get lots of fresh air because this will help our bodies and our brains keep healthy especially when we're spending so much time indoors and at home at the moment you don't have to go for a walk, you could do other exercises. I believe Miss Hughes and Miss Eyre provided you with some links to exercise videos. Or you could do your own exercise, make up obstacle courses, do whatever you fancy. Um, I know I've been following some yoga videos in my time just for that extra bit of exercise without having to leave the house. But it's super important we all stay active and healthy so that we can keep our minds and our bodies healthy. I really like doing some crafting when I was younger and I've been doing a bit more of it now that we've got a lot of uh, time on our hands. One really easy thing to do is to make paper chains that you can use to decorate your bedroom or, or wherever you like in your house. Um, as you're going to see in a bit, there's so much fun, even my dog wanted to get involved. But there are loads of different crafts that you can do if you look online and a lot will only need things that you already have in your house. So, for example, I used to like um, painting and decorating dry pasta and creating photo frames for family members. Or if you have a printer, you could print pictures and create collages and photo books as gifts for family and friends once we can see them again. Um, it's just a really nice use of your time and it's nice because you have something at the end of it that you can keep to either decorate your bedroom or keep in your bedroom on display or give to someone as a gift. I hope you really enjoyed the few ideas that I gave you in these videos. You don't have to do them, you don't have to do any of them or you could do all of them. It's completely up to you. Just a few ideas of things you could do if you're getting a bit stuck around the house and you're getting a bit bored. Um, there's so many other things you could do. You could watch some more of these videos. I know there's loads of them. You could watch some and offer to cook dinner for your family. Or you could watch a few and do a few of the housework and the chores for your mum maybe. So many things you could do. Just make sure you're keeping yourself busy, keeping yourself safe. And I look forward to seeing you all when we're back at school.